So early last month, I saw this mod from Shuei Yanyu, and had figured it a community-made WX78 rework. Hence why I didn't showcase it then, as I was going to save it for later this year. But then I read the title again, and said to myself, Hold up, that says WX Automation, not WX Automaton. So what is this then? I then proceeded to do a little more digging, and I discovered I was oh so very wrong, everyone. This is no rework. This is magic. Ask yourselves this. What if WX78 could build more WX78s to help him do his bidding? And what if these AI-driven automatons could fight, follow, fish, fell trees, farm, and more without us lifting a finger? Well, ask yourself such things no longer, as would you believe it, that is exactly why we're here today. But while that sounds like and is out of this world, it will all come at a cost. A rather hefty one. These WX type automatons each require 9 gears, 2 electrical doodads, and 2 frazzled wires to create as you can see, which is already a drawback for most I'm sure. But factor in the fact that these very familiar looking robots don't exactly work on their own even after being brought to life, and you'll start to understand why this mod sounds crazy OP, but it's really not. Oh no 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 no. Shuye Yanyu knew these automatons would be way too cool and good to simply hand out to anyone, so we'll need to work for them for sure. But trust me, it's gonna be worth it. Even if we'll be needing several Aku Vigils here, potentially. But why the Aku Vigils? Well, think of them as beacons, almost. These machines have two modes, Unmanned and Follower. And Aku Vigils are needed to properly use the former, as you can see, as they won't do anything without one nearby. That is, unless you build the Vox Solar Experiment PR-76, aka the Divining Rod from Solo Don't Starve. Costing twigs, nightmare fuel, and gears, the Divining Rod will allow for the true WX to cast a free spell on these automatons that will switch them to their follower modes, something that I'm pretty sure is darn near self-explanatory. Still, the machines will now function completely without an Occu Vigil anywhere in the world and will follow you forever even if the Divining Rod is not in your hands, mind you. They will not hunker down to perform any of their various player-given jobs, though, unless you give them an opportunity to do so via stopping for a time, of course. But more on that in a minute. To continue with the basics here, note that all machines that are not to combat automatons will indeed automatically attempt to avoid all dangers in the game, be them unmanned or followers, which is very useful at the end of the day. But if and when they do die, expect no doodads in return, unfortunately. However, we will get some gears and wires back, so not all is lost. It's neat stuff. Oh, but we're just getting started, folks, as it's time for the really awesome, super trippy mechanics now. For you see, these machines can and will do everything, and I mean everything themselves if you let them. To turn a normal automaton into a farming one, go ahead and place a gardener hat atop its head, and the thing will learn a new function, pick up farming tools, till the soil, plant seeds, water, and even more over and over and over again as long as it has the materials nearby to do so. Heck, as I said, if they have it nearby, the guys will even restore the proper fertilizer to any of the farm plots, which is a pretty darn complicated system, honestly. And yup, you guessed it, they will eventually harvest all the fully grown crops and will even store them in proper containers without any of us lifting a dang finger. And yes, it is about as strange of a side as you can get in this game, let me tell ya. And this isn't even the craziest task yet. Because what if I told you that these AIs could do a better job at taming and maintaining beefalo than we could? They will need a bit more help from us, of course, seeing as they will require a practice dummy if one wants an ordinary tendency. However, that is optional, of course. Really, the only thing we need to give them is a beefalo hat, and they will have their job. However, with no food to give, saddles to place, brushes to help brush beefalo with, and the rest of it, they'll do absolutely nothing. So everything's not fully automatic, I suppose. But still, 
give them the stuff to work with, and they will tame multiple beefs if you let them. But focus on one, though, and the automaton will even ride the dang thing, which is kind of scary, actually. But ah, uh, yes, here's where that focus on fighting instead of purely riding comes into play with a dummy in play itself. Guys, I'm not joking. This isn't another player. This is an AI doing all of this. And yes, I am kind of like creeped out by it like you are maybe. It's nuts and there's more yet. Set up an automatic automaton in base and place a straw hat atop its head and its new function will be to pick resources here, there, and everywhere. The machines do tend to get a little confused about which to actually pick first, but they will still get the job done eventually, and will continue to do so for the rest of dang time while you go out and do all the other nonsense that needs doing. Heck, leave some fertilizer behind too, and they will re-fertilize anything that needs it, which only helps to continue the cycle. Now this, this is actually approaching full automation. Because as we've seen and will see, the others kind of need us to provide the tools before anything gets done, like the logging automaton here. But still, they're all pretty cool. Hand over a cat cap to the thing, and it will grab the proper tools and get to felling. Now there's nothing too fancy here of course, however these loggers will indeed replant new pine cones and store whatever wood they can in chests occasionally, so there you go. In fact, most automatons will actually properly store all items they gather for us, which is pretty neat. Well, all apart from gathered flint apparently. For you see, miner machines are a thing too as you could have guessed, and all they need is an axe and a miner's hat to get started and they'll smash any and all boulders around them looking to store minerals in chests, although they do seem to hog flint, and I'm not sure why. But I also know not to mess with an AI, so I'm just gonna leave them to it. But what else can these things do, Beard? Well, give them some poles, ponds, and a full set of rain gear, and they will fish forever. What's more, they will store said fish in the right containers too, and they'll even murder them immediately to help save space in their own inventories. I know, I can hardly believe what I'm seeing myself. Now they're also supposed to be able to ocean fish by switching to proper lures and floats depending on the nearby ocean fish schools. However, this can not only, only be done when they are in follower mode, it does seem a little broken currently. Still, with this mod working as it does, it's kind of the thought that counts in this case. And finally, hand these robots weapons and armor at your own risk. Nah, kid. They can only carry two of each anyways, so they're not yet super killer robot AIs, I guess. But they'll fight what you fight, and will benefit from whatever armor slash weapons they were given, so don't count them out at all. They've suddenly become the best followers in the flipping game. Especially when you can build an army of said followers for Pete's sake. And remember, follower mode is a thing. You don't need an Occivigil unless you plan on leaving an automaton in a specific area. Have fun. Before we go though, know that there is indeed one last function for these automatons related to resource transportation. Uh, apparently, they will wear a backpack, gather stuff in a specific marked location, come back to base, drop all that stuff, and repeat. It sounds amazingly complicated, but also not overly useful at the same time. But hey, perhaps I'm just not thinking straight. But there is a specific craft needed to do this, and it is available to craft from the get-go. And by the way, how could any of us think straight? Shuye Yanyu just completely blew us away with this. AIWX78 that fish, farm, tame beefalo, resource gather, and more? What more is there to even say? Just wow. Thanks Shuye Yanyu for something truly remarkable, and thank you all for watching here today. Embrace your AI overlords. Bye-bye.